Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. At time, if you want to get out of your ashes, you have to break the protocol. Amen. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. She was tired of being in ashes. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. She was tired of carrying her sin around. She was tired of being called a prostitute. She was tired of being called a sinner. She was tired of being called a backbiter. She was tired of being told she's a, she's a thief stealing people's husband. She was tired. I don't know how tired you are of ashes. I don't know whether you are tired today or you just want to live in ashes and let me tell you, you are, if you are not living in ashes, you are probably living in muddy places. So this one, we are told by Jesus, listen, this one they are criticizing that this man, whatever she has brought, it should have been given to the what? To the poor. How many times have you given to the poor? Yeah, you tell us, I'm not giving my offering to get my tithe. I'm not paying. Pastor Stan, I can't pay my tithe because I have sent my money to the poor people. I have sent my money to the needy people. These people, they just wanted to show off that they can do something better. That they can plan for you. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Let us have Jesus plan for us. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Let us break the protocol. Because they knew if you want to give, and you want to give, you give to the poor. Praise the Lord. And they criticized that shortly. But Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a good work for me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you imagine Jesus speaking on your behalf? Jesus declaring that what you are doing is surely acceptable. What you are doing, you are actually doing it for me. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. You need to be looking right here in front because I have good news for you. Amen. Then he says, "Why uh, she has done good work for me. For you have the poor with you always. And whenever you wish, you may do them good. But me, you do not have always. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. When others are planning on how they are going to kill me, she has come to prepare my body for burial. What they are going to kill, she has found value in that. Praise it to Jesus. Amen. She has valued the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. She has put all the value in it. And she has decided that her three months salary, she is going to put it in Jesus Give it to him and do something great. Send, give him a send off before he goes. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Assuredly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. Not as a memorial to our Lord Jesus Christ, but as a memorial to her. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Some of us will want to have a memorial placard put on our graves. Praise be to Jesus. I know some are imagining what is going to be written on their grave. Start imagining. Hallelujah. Because those placards are not going to help you in anything. Because Jesus is saying, if you want to make a memorial of yourself, for people to remember you all the days of your life. For people to remember the ashes that you once had. For people to remember the good deeds that you did. You've got to do something to our Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You've got to do something to Jesus Christ. That even if you are helping those needy, help them through Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Don't help them because there are people who are doing it on TV. Help them through the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Because the church has been given that responsibility to take care of the needy. Glory to God. Amen. But how do they take care of the needy when you are sending your money all over the TV to help the needy? I don't know in which place. And you do not know whether somebody is buying their own jet with your money. <laughs> and you are saying they are buying, you are sending money because you've been shown a picture on TV. You've been shown a picture of your, your own people. You have been shown a picture that has been shown for 10 years. Has been on TV for 20 years. The same picture of those kids. What did they do? I was, I've been asking, these kids, they never grow. These kids, they never even wear clothes. These kids will never even be cured. These kids will never even dress properly. They will never even have a home. They will never even have clean water. For how long are we going to send money to dig wells in Africa?
Africa. For how long are we going to give money to go and feed the poor and feed the, feed the hungry? When are they going to be full? When are they going to be satisfied? The same picture. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The same picture. And yet, the church has been given that responsibility. Hallelujah. Do it through your church and you will see God doing great things. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because as you're doing it through your church, you're doing it to yes. Jesus. Amen. You are not because you cannot separate Jesus and his church. Because the church is his bride. Amen. And when you're doing it, you're actually decorating his bride. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are putting ornaments on his bride. Hallelujah. Amen. You are putting jewels on his bride. Glory to Jesus. Amen. But what are you doing? We've been wasting, wasting, and wasting. Glory to God. Just because somebody gave you a word of knowledge, praise the Lord, and you did not know that probably that word they were telling you out there, it was actually manipulation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Haven't you asked yourself, when somebody is just meeting you out there, praise the Lord, and giving you that word and telling you it's from God, Praise the Lord. Amen. And you do not know their lifestyle. Have you asked yourself, why? What, what is the reason they are giving? Why are they telling me? Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this is what we are told. That Jesus said that this one is going to be done in her memorial. Why? Because throughout her life, her deeds will be remembered. She remembered how? Because what she has done, it will continue. The fragrance will continue being there. Praise the Lord. Amen. She'll be smelling like Jesus throughout her life. Praise the Lord. She, all the things that she has done, Jesus will be seen. Jesus will be seen on that. Hallelujah. I wanted to demonstrate something here with Pastor Stella because she's the overseer of this house. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Pastor Stella, you can come and sit on these four seats. Praise the Lord. We've given you four. Praise the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Next time you'll have to buy the, the, the other mic where we can feel on ourselves so that when we are working we can sit properly on their back. Sit on that one. And then as you sit, can somebody bring a kanga for her? Do you, do you have a kanga there for Pastor Stella? Faith, do you have something for, for Pastor Stella? Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. You know, Pastor Stella, I want you to put this feet here. Yes. Glory to Jesus. That is why we've asked for a kanga. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even Jesus Christ, when he went down, he sat down, and what happened? Those are some of the things. Can we can we help? Praise be to Jesus. Maybe you can move this. She doesn't need this. So this woman comes, and she comes in with. She comes in and enters with a bag. Glory to God. She comes in with her own bag and enters where men were seated. Praise the Lord. And as they were seated, she comes and she doesn't care what they are going to do to her, what they are going to say. It does not matter. I have come to worship. I have come to anoint my Jesus. I have come to bless my Lord. I have come to love my Jesus. Praise the Lord. So she comes with her bag. Nobody knows what is inside. Praise the Lord. And then inside, because whatever she has is precious. Some of you want to go showing everybody, you know what, this is what I gave. This is what I have paid. By the way, I've given this amount of money. This is what I've been giving to that church. What are they doing with the money that we've been giving? But she has gone inside with her Whatever she has is inside hidden, covered, and put, put properly because this is something precious that she's bringing. Then inside, pray, praise the Lord, she removes 
something else that is inside there. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then, praise be to Jesus. God bless you for now. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karyuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory. Log into our website at www.agracem.org. Please partner with this ministry. At the same time, I ask you, please log into our Facebook and YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and uh, the Lord is going to bless you. Be blessed for now. Shalom. Shalom.